great morning loving life still vibrating high ascending still getting my downloads how's everybody feeling i feel great mm, unstoppable did anyone else get um like um side effects from ascension yeah i did yeah so obviously when you're first ex people that are or like experts in this obviously it just comes natural to them but people that are at the beginning stages the first thing you would think to yourself is something's wrong with my body and it's not because i thought the same thing do you know what i mean and then i just meditated spoke to my spirit guides my ancestors and it was explained what i'm feeling so yeah it feels good i feel a sense of freeness should i say i feel light very very light it's a nice feeling it's literally like a warm vibrating hug from the inside out if that makes any sense that's the best way i can explain it it's like a when you get like a nice hug that makes you feel like oh makes you feel all cozy it's like that it sets you feel you can feel the energy of it i'm telling you the feeling of this energy i've never felt anything like it i'm telling you it's amazing absolutely amazing i'm truly grateful for this experience and I'm truly blessed, you know. Um, yeah. Onwards and upwards. Mm -hmm. So we look at things from a different perspective now. But the main thing is, is when you wake up happy. Yeah, stay away like you can't stop smiling. But you've got to have a pure heart. So it's, it's good to forgive, you know. And that's why they say the devil makes work for idle hands. The devil's going to attack you any which way he can. Once he knows your weaknesses, like he was attacking what he thought was my weaknesses. And I persevered. I stayed strong. I spoke to God. And he just reminded me, when you do what you're supposed to do, no harm will befall you. Mm. So, and the outcome that people try to pull out of you, that person is dead and buried. Like the old version of yourself is shredded, you know, and you go up to a higher level of consciousness. And it's an amazing feeling, which is why I don't really get why people just like to hate or envy, do you know what I mean, or try and destroy other people out of pure jealousy. That makes no sense. And those are the same people that rather do, that rather delve in, into the darker side of things in order to get what they want. And that shit never ends well. Do you know what I mean? And it doesn't last forever. At least you know when you do things the right way, that shit can't be taken from you. Do you understand me? Because it was condoned by God. When you do shit in align with the devil, you got to expect to fall at some point. You know? But that's why God says free will and everybody has their own choice. I made the right choice. And because I made the right choice, people that have nothing but wicked, wicked ways and hate in their heart, they are coming out the woodwork, literally. Yeah, friends, family, your own children, I'm telling you, so expect it, you know? 
the battles you have to the battles that come up to fight you I don't I surrender it to my ancestors I surrender it to God I surrender it to my spirit guides and I continue on my path that's the key okay that's just a distraction of the devil what's the time on this I want to put this on my I was on five minutes good yeah and I am living proof of these actions because had my karmic family and my ex and my fake friends had they got their wishes all the spell work and death spells that they sent to me I wouldn't be sorry now so yeah I know who I am and that's the thing so if you know that you're constantly being attacked but it's in a sneaky backhanded way then let me tell you look a lot more closer to home you understand because i didn't expect to find out what i found out you know and i'm glad i did and it's like because they sold their soul they have absolutely no shame no shame at all so what you do is you sit to yourself you close your eyes you focus and picture whoever you want to see whether it be god your ancestors your spirit guides and you pour judgment yes that's what you do you pour judgment and if basically anyone has done you wrong yeah when you pour judgment on someone if they have wronged you god will deal with them accordingly and they will get karma and you will actually see their karma play out right before your very eyes which i myself am witnessing now with all the people that targeted me for no other reason than control hate greed and jealousy yeah and they tried everything in their power to set me up, lie on me, malign my character, do a witch hunt, smear campaign. They're doing everything. <clears throat> Trying to dupe me into um, making, accepting false proposals. Trying to trap me. Not just in this realm, in the spiritual realm also. So you've got to be very careful about the people you're amongst. And I'm scared to go on the time. As long as I keep it under 10 minutes, I'm so good. And I'm so blessed. And I'm thankful. I'm very grateful that God saved my life and pulled me out of it when he did. He basically pulled the blinders off, you know. He stripped off all that spell work that I, that, that I was under a lot of dark black magic by my own family. And once they couldn't have control, they recruited other people. So basically, they've been orchestrating my life since I was born. And they've been trying to take me out since I was born. And guess what? I'm fully awake. And I'm standing in my power. I know who I am. God bless you. Have a great day. Keep vibrations up. Lead with love, you know. And don't let nobody tell you who you are. Because God knows who you are, okay? Peace and blessings.